Born in the south of France in 1892, Darius Millot began his musical studies at the Paris Conservatory in 1909. But when the outbreak of World War I interrupted his musical studies, he decided to serve his country in the only way that his fragile health would allow him, by becoming the secretary to the French minister in Brazil. When he returned from Rio de Janeiro to Paris after the war, Mio quickly became a leading member in the Parisian avant-garde. During the 1930s, he turned increasingly to writing music for theater and for cinema. Uh, although the piece that we're going to hear today, La Cheminée de Roy Prenet, is a suite in seven movements for wind quintet, it began its life as one third of a film score for the 1939 romantic comedy Cavalcade d'Amour, or The Procession of Love. The film traces the effect of a curse at a French castle through three very different time periods, the Middle Ages, the 19th century, and 1939. Uh, according to this legend of the curse, whoever marries within the walls of this castle would be doomed to an unhappy life. Um, so far throughout the film, in the Middle Ages and in the 19th century, the curse has come true. The heroine of the 1939 portion of the movie is determined to break the effects of the curse. I'll leave it up to you to find out whether or not she actually does. Uh, to make these three different time periods feel very distinct, the director of the movie chose three different composers to write music. So Mio actually wrote the music for the earliest time period in the movie, the Middle Ages. Uh, only a, a few days after finishing composing this soundtrack, uh, Mio began using themes from the film score for this wind quintet, La Cheminée de Roy René. Um, the unusual title, which translates as King René's Fireplace, or Chimney Place, uh, references the 15th century King René I, who had once lived in Aix-en-Provence, which was Mio's um, hometown. The fireplace in the title was actually a natural sheltered area in Aix-en-Provence, and it's still actually a popular picnic area today. Mio had long been fascinated with the history of King René I, uh, with his code of chivalry, and especially with the legendary tournaments that would take place at his court. Although Mio did study a few medieval music manuscripts as he was sort of writing the music for this, this film soundtrack and for this suite, the music only faintly resembles in a few ways uh, the music of the Middle Ages. Uh, it really does seem as, as though he's looking at it through the lens of his own composer's voice, his neoclassical musical style. The titles of the first three movements, which translate as Procession, Morning Serenade, and Jugglers, offer us a glimpse into the daily life and the entertainments that took place at King René's court. Uh, while the fourth movement's title, which translates roughly, there's no real English equivalent, but it translates roughly as badly arranged or topsy-turvy. Um, this refers to the kind of jumbled architecture of the city of Aix-en-Provence. Um, the fifth movement, Jousts on the Arc, uh, depicts a jousting tournament uh, on a local river that winds its way through the countryside, while the sixth movement, Chase at Belabra, suggests a hunting party at this little old castle that King René was known to go to frequently with his hunting parties. Uh, the final movement, Madrigal Nocturne, that closes the work, paints this, a, a very beautiful picture of a quiet night in at the, at the castle, um, a quiet evening of poetry and perhaps even of some song. Uh, please enjoy our second. 